Welcome back everyone, Ashley here. Today on Kira Kira, I'll be branching out into another influential field. Many designers source inspiration from the fine art world. One of the most incredible graphic artists of all time is MC Escher, his life's work being primarily inspired by mathematics. Considering how often his art manipulates perspective through geometric objects, I'd like to make a pair of super fun cube earrings influenced by Escher. If you're not familiar with his art, check out my mood board. Time to get started with my MC Escher inspired cube earrings in Autodesk Fusion 360. Step 1. Creation of the stacked cube. Right away, let's make sure to save our designs. I'll be naming mine artist-cube underscore earring. Be sure you are working in the model workspace, shown in the top left menu. Create a box at the origin, setting the dimensions to 10mm by 10 by 10. Select these three top faces of your box and right click to choose the shell tool, adjusting the wall thickness to 2 millimeters. Now repeat the same steps, except this time select the opposite three faces when using the shell tool. Right click again to select the move copy tool. Move the second box both up and over 2 millimeters, and then drag across the shelled space so it rests perfectly atop the original box. Step 2. Adding the details. Now that we have our first charm, we need to punch a hole for our jump ring, which will connect to an ear post after printing. Use the hole function in the Create drop-down menu while in the top view. Select the face you want to punch, choosing a diameter of 2 millimeters. Don't forget to add the finishing details of our design. Use Shell to define some interesting reliefs in our cube. Select the outer three faces and then shell with an inside thickness of one millimeter. Step three, combine and make a set. Finally, our components are ready to be combined into a complete earring. Use the combine tool found in the modify menu. From here, we can finish the set for our whole pair. Within the Create menu, locate Mirror, making sure our pattern type is set to Bodies. Step 4. Export your STL file. Now that your earrings are fused together, matching, and ready to go, you can download the STL file. Highlight both charms, then select Save as STL under the first tab with our file name in your browser menu. Again, name your design in STL format. All that's left to do is print your charms and attach ear posts using a jump ring. Don't forget to check out our other exciting classes to learn how to make more super creative products and share your designs with our creative community on KiraKira.com.